Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. This week we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently. I will start with the majors for those of you interested to only look at the majors and then we will continue with the rest of the markets I usually look at and if you want to do so you are welcome to see the full video over my site. The link is in the description below. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, please show your support to the channel by clicking the like button. And if you are new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscription button and hit that bell to get the notification when I upload a new video. See you there. Well, 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 welcome back. Well, as usual, we start by looking at the news for next week. And as you see, we have a lot of major events next week. To remember that it is bank holiday for the Canadian and the American. So there will not be a lot of uh, market movement during uh, New York session uh, this Monday. We start the week with uh, Aussie news, retail sales, JAPI, we have the um, government Kuroda speech, manufacturing PMI for the sterling. Tuesday, as you see, uh, cash rate, RBA rate statement, and the government low speech. So an important day for Aussie as well. Inflation report for uh, the sterling. ISM manufacturing PMI for the US dollar on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have the GDP quarter and quarter for all the sterling services PMI. Very, very important number uh, for the sterling. For the CAD, we do have the trade balance, uh, the BOC rate statement, and the overnight rate. The market is not expecting any rate hike. Thursday, we do have a trade balance from Aussie. And uh, for the USD, the advanced non-farm employment change, ISM non-manufacturing, crude oil inventories for oil also. And Friday, Super Friday, where we have for the CAD employment change and unemployment change uh, rate, sorry. And of course, NFP for the US dollar. So it's a very, very packed week. All the traders are back after this uh, summer vacation and things will start moving the first week of uh, September so best to be ready and we're gonna start with the Dixie as usual and you see here that uh, forget about these uh, monthly pivot uh, guys because uh, they are for the last month so we'll not be looking at them we will mostly be looking at structure uh, level support resistance level yeah so Dixie last week we tested these lows down here I was expecting to see the market probably reach the 94.15 which was a good important uh, support and resistance level as you see here we didn't reach that we've got rejection uh, already uh, at last month's uh, monthly pivot point so no uh, lows was broken on that on the daily you see it clearly we broke this low and we've been making lower lows and lower highs so this short term is to the downside but and thursday and friday last week was um some you can see it correction or rejection at these levels <clears throat> and it's not as easy as we had it uh, previously when the dollar was above this level and we were expecting the market to go back retest structure and keep moving higher yeah we didn't get that so what it's going on right now is your question this could be a correction to the upside before a continuation lower as well and if this to be a continuation we wanted to see to break a break above this previous high if that happened then of course the long-term continuation for the dollar will continue uh, we should keep an eye on this area this 95.15 was a good support and resistance level as well 
and to the downside the 94.15 is another important level and as you see we've been tracking the dixie on lower time frame inside these uh, boxes let me take off this we do not need to look at that right now and the weekly is old and the daily pivots are also old so we do not need those as well <clears throat> so a uh, cleaner chart so we've been tracking this i was expecting a retest to the bottom here 94.15 we didn't get that we've got sideways we started with this range and we start tracking this range waiting for a breakout and a possible continuation to the top of the box now we got the breakout last friday and we reached this important 95.15 level <clears throat> so keep an eye on this level on the four hour we could just start it a reversal here since we broke above these highs uh, for the dollar yeah so a bit tricky we could have a correction right now um, one need to wait for clear signal um, to move forward in my opinion a break outside of this box this will signal continuation uh, for the dollar and the bulls will get much more confidence if if this breakout happen yeah so next market is gold and let's go on the weekly uh, for gold as well so after testing these lows um, the previous week was uh, bullish and last week we had uh, an indecision candle so gold basically still uh, a bearish market with a nearly possible reversal as you see on the daily we had a higher high higher low and another higher low here yeah but thursday and Fri friday as you see thursday was a bearish day friday was a reverse um, rejection day as well this still could do something like this retest and continuation as well in any case for more upside for gold i am looking firstly for this uh, important level around the 12 18 here this need to be broken and then possibly continuation to these areas where we do have another level of resistance here yeah so i'm expecting this level also to give it some trouble anything above that is a very longer term bullishness for gold but what will happen if we are bearish continuation here so what if this was only a correction and we will keep moving down that you need to track on the lower time frame in in my opinion uh, this um, trend line here is could be something to work with on the four hour time frame on gold since as you see we still <clears throat> didn't break these lows here it still be a possibility to the upside but the highs are getting lower so any break below um 11.96 here this could signal a possible continuation to the downside once again so that is the gameplay for gold guys keep an eyes on those level oil and uh, still bullish uh, after uh, testing uh, the bottom of this channel and the 200 moving average as you see here we've got this nice bounce now testing a very important uh, resistance level yeah so from here we start having already uh, hidden bearish divergence as you see and we have a couple uh, thursday and friday candles was indecision candles friday ended up as inside day as i said oil uh, still bullish uh, we could expect some correction lower before a continuation to the upside or if we break above this important level this um, structure here let's not forget this is not the monthly pivot point once again the these are old levels guys so they are from last month but what we really need to look at is the this level here any break on the daily above this structure that will send us toward the 75 level mostly and it seems that we are gonna do so um, the uh, shipments from Iran are already dropping and there is a lot a lot of um, uncertainty about that so I am still bullish on uh, oil the question is where to buy the dips on the four hour time frame 
we do have this nice structure that could act as first possible support level uh, if you want to buy the dips of course if we break below this important level as well so any retest to this level could be a reason for a buy on oil keep an eye on those levels euro usd and as i said we will start with uh, the majors so uh, let's start with the euro usd let's take off this we do not need it on the weekly as you see on the weekly euro usd a retest toward this uh, major important structure here and then we've got rejected so once again are we getting this correction only and continuation now to the downside since we broke below this structure i was expecting a continuation the question is when will it come uh, daily time frame you see that after this retest we got a bearish engulfing on thursday friday was a continuation there is no structure below until we reach uh, this level here back down here around the uh, 1.1540 ish this area gonna be an important level to look at since if this will get broken like this i'm expecting the continuation to the downside for the euro actually i am bearish euro there is a lots of troubles lots of issues italy turkey spain nothing is really done yet over there uh, even the situation is in greece is still really uh, not solid at all <clears throat> so i am bearish uh, euro but the question is why did we got so much of a correction and uh, there is a possibility that we do have an inverted uh, head and shoulder here on um, if we look at it like this this is also a bit worrying yeah so if this was a break of this neckline then there is a possibility for more upside but i do not see that right now in my opinion we tested a structure and we start getting uh, the reversal so we should keep an eye at this level down here um, short term sell uh, the retest to this uh, neckline could be a good idea if we get any retest toward this structure after breaking this head and shoulder another push lower to this level this here is the main level to look at if we're gonna break these lows and continue lower or not on uh, euro usd yeah sterling usd <coughs> also tested an important structure let's go to the weekly and look why uh, as you see here a good support uh, resistance in the past support here good level we broke below that we retested we broke also below this structure we've got a retest last week um sterling was very very strong last week based on those uh, brexit related news from um, germany mostly that they're gonna get a special off offer uh, and stuff like that for the brexit uh, or after the brexit so that's why we we saw a very very strong uh, sterling uh, against the crosses but against the usd since the usd got stronger thursday and friday this whole move stopped here so in my opinion this is still bearish early warning that we do have a higher low and a higher uh, high here as you see uh, so we not we need to uh, monitor that a little bit uh, closer so we maybe want to draw some kind of channel here uh, to see if we're gonna get any break outside of the channel uh, to really understand if this is only a correction and uh, this will happen like this and continue lower or if we're gonna break back above this important structure here so once again the 1.300 area ish uh, is an important level to uh, to watch for more upside for more upside we need to break above this and then a continuation will happen um i having hard time seeing that i really do not see any uh, good fundamentals yet on the sterling but we have as you saw many many news uh, next week also from uh, 
from the UK. So the first level to keep an eye at for uh, today after the open is of course this structure here. This is a short term uh, support level now could be the lows of the channel as well and could give you a bounce to the upside. Any break below this channel that will signal a possible continuation down. Okay, those are the levels to look at for the sterling. Aussie USD, the Aussie was hammered everywhere. And as you see, very, very weak on the weekly time frame from the start of the year here on January. The, we started moving lower and breaking every single support level. I still think Aussie gonna at least test, take out these lows down here, guys. So keep an eye in this at this uh, structure down here. This um, gonna be tested at least or take out the lows before any uh, reversal. Um, we do have some Aussie news as well, but the main idea here is, of course, if we break below this, then look for a continuation toward these lows. As first watch this level for a possible bounce at least short term bounce uh, on the daily we broke below these lows so it is still a bearish market but we are hitting at an important support level here this will be the last line of the port so you really need to keep an eye on this level uh, for a possible uh, bounce higher at least uh, we could have a short term bounce higher we had a great uh, trade here uh, last week on this let me take off when we broke call it out I called out this in our room and we've got a really really nice trade double top broke the neckline and there is still room but as I said it is uh, oversold on the on all time frames so keep an eye on this level for a possible at least short term bounce and maybe more so uh, very interesting chart uh, to watch uh, for uh, next week aussie usd uh, usd jappy a boring one once again we are still stuck inside this range on the weekly as you see and uh, as i mentioned last week this uh, 110 is uh, the important structure support right now last week we ended up as an indecision candle so it is a bit boring it traded you get short-term trades and that's it uh, after the break here we were expecting retest and continuation higher we got some nice trades but still as you see every time you do a push higher you got a deeper correction so we did uh, on Friday retest to this uh, 11080 which is an important support and got rejected from that once again so if this was like midweek I would take this uh, reversal signal for a continuation to the upside to reach the highs once again since we have this uh, morning star formation but we cannot be sure if this was profit taking the end of the month and the end of the week. Uh, so um, it is uh, a bit more tricky than that. Keep an eye on this 11080 area for a possible support once again and uh, probably a bounce. We should keep an eye on gold as well. Uh, but as you see on this time frame we have a higher high all of a sudden we have we have a lower low so there is no real trend continuation here and it make things much much harder um, so keep an eye on lower time frame uh, as first uh, if we do something like this and break back above these levels then there is a big possibility to reach higher once again um, no uh, not the best pair to look at though as a longer term trades um, New Zealand USD still bearish after this two candles um, correction two weeks correction we reached this structure and last week was a bearish engulfing to the downside breaking below uh, as you see we tested this uh, range and uh, did a double bottom and then downside from there we broke below the low here below the neckline so it is still uh, bearish in my opinion if you're holding a short keep an eye on uh, this level down here 
um, and the next structure would be down here at these levels so this will have major opportunities if we continue lower short term level as you see we're sitting right now at the neckline so we could uh, have uh, some kind of bounce to the upside here there is no news for new zealand next week so this will probably solely be on the dollar and i think any break below this we're gonna have a retest to this um support at this level if i take you back to the monthly uh, chart you see what i'm looking for possible a b c d this will take a very very long time but as you see at the monthly we have nothing left here until we reach these lows yeah very interesting chart keep following that uh, keep trading those levels uh, one at a time usd cad <clears throat> still inside this uh, channel we had um, very bumpy friday if we when we go to lower time frame you're gonna see that but on the weekly you see we tested uh, last month's uh, s1 and got rejected to the upside still inside this descending channel we keep uh, trading this channel until we have a break out and we now traded below this 1.300 and then above it so we still trading inside this uh, channel as i said we do have a lower low we broke these lows we still have lower highs so as far as this market does not break above these highs something like this if that happened then there is possibility for another push higher otherwise as far as this high is not broken uh, there is a possibility for another bounce from the top of the channel once again to the downside as i said this is gonna be mainly driven by by the uh, nafta headlines we may have some gaps uh, this week since uh, everything happened la late friday and we've got these uh, spikes back up and down uh, so you need to keep an eye on those headlines um, any good headlines about any nafta deal will uh, send this uh, to the downside but last week last friday there was no deal and that was the major uh, issue that moved the spear to the upside and above all that we do have um some cad news uh, at friday which is going to be very very important employment change and the unemployment rate uh, since last week we dropped um, as you see to uh, 5.8 and the uh, employment change was also a green number last uh, last month sorry so um, this is going to be uh, very very important to uh, keep an eye on uh, short term levels you see them here clearly this could be possible short term support and for more upside we need to take out these highs for another push higher on usd cat usd chief very bearish also as you see uh, monthly chart three months is here could not break higher and then last month a very strong break to the downside all that happened actually the uh, the last two weeks so we had uh, this move here and then last week the break below the neckline this double top on the weekly now we broke the neckline and basically there is not much structure left until we uh, reach uh, these levels down here yeah these are minor levels here but this is gonna be a major structure uh, support so short term there is nothing left until we start reaching these minor levels it is soon at the extreme oversold on the weekly daily last friday was uh, some rejection but it is an extended move rsi and oversold what i do not like about it here that we do not have any structure so of course if all that was happening when uh, the dollar reached this uh, minor support here 
that would be a possible level to look for a long yeah that's why i have this level on my chart it is a minor uh, support level on daily uh, <clears throat> so we broke below structure the best thing would be to wait for a correction toward this level here and then look for a sell for another push lower here that would be uh, the best uh, idea for uh, this pair wait for a correction higher and then uh, and then sell it okay so that was it for those of you watching over youtube thank you very much for uh, being here with us uh, as i said uh, please uh, hit the like button if you do like these sessions for those of you who want to uh, keep uh, watching the video and follow the rest of the pairs you are welcome to do so over my site the link is in the description below just click on that and you will be able to see the full version okay bye bye for now see you over pafx.com for those of you who want to see the full video